Boy Kills World is the feature debut from director Moritz Moore, based on a short film made by him and Arend Remmers. Those two also wrote the screen story, while the actual screenplay was from Remmers and Tyler Burton Smith. I saw it through a surprise pre-screening through AMC Screen Unseen, but it should be in theaters by the time this video comes out. It stars Bill Skarsgård as a nameless man living in a dystopian future where when he was a kid, the totalitarian government killed his family and then cut out his tongue and did something to his ears to make him deaf. And now as an adult, he's sworn revenge on the regime's leader. But that description doesn't quite capture how crazy this movie is. It's full of cartoony characters and violence. Since the main character is mute, it uses heavy use of internal monologue played by voice actor H. John Benjamin, the voice of Bob Belcher, Sterling Archer, and a bunch of other cartoon characters. And hearing that voice coming out of Bill Skarsgård as a highly trained assassin performing acts of gory violence is kind of a good representation of what to expect here in terms of tone. It takes place in a world that feels like a cross between The Hunger Games and Hobo with a Shotgun. Meanwhile, the action feels like maybe Kingsman meets a Saturday morning cartoon, but with more inspiration from video games. Yeah, the graphics over the first part of the closing credits feel like they could have played after Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is the kind of movie where a pivotal scene happens at a public execution which was sponsored by a serial company which has their mascots carry out the killings on a fun set. And it is funny, often in a silly and over-the-top way, not just from the action but also from the characters and their dialogue. I also like how it's told solely from Bill Skarsgård's point of view, including how he perceives things as a deaf man. Like there's one character whose lips he can't read so every time he talks it just comes out gibberish. A trick which is used just enough so that the comedy of it doesn't get old. And it works from an action standpoint too. It consists of violent fights which are fun and intense and are so bloody that it might not come as a surprise that Sam Raimi was involved as a producer. There's a moment that takes one of the most hard to watch scenes in Evil Dead Rise and amps it up to turn it into the most uncomfortable fight in the movie. I guess it's up to you whether that's a good or bad thing. And it has a decent plot, a typical revenge story but it still has a few surprises along the way. And Bill Skarsgård is good in the role. He pulls off this silent action hero character. Before the movie, they showed the trailer for the Crow remake where he stars in Brandon Lee's role if it was also Jared Leto's Joker. This movie comes in as a reassurance that he can make a good action star, in a movie that probably won't end up as well known as The Crow. And unless The Crow surprises everybody, that sucks because he deserves better than that. And even if it does surprise, I can't imagine it being as fun as this. In a market full of hard R action movies, this one stands out. Partially because of how R-rated it is, but mostly because of how insane it is. It aims directly for the midnight movie crowd, and I think it hit the mark very well. 